So we need to share Fiona's story. So Fiona was a first freshener this year. So this was her first kidding season. Um, I have a mentor that I follow. She usually keeps on um, her dolings with their mothers so that they can see their mother's kid the first time and see how everything goes down. This is why I kid in a group because I'm trying to do that same method that she does with her goats. Um, so we had Fiona kid out here um, and I think what happened was uh, she was quite surprised with these babies. Um, she kitted kind of early uh, before I came out and did my barn checks and fed everybody. So she kitted both kids unassisted, no problems. By the time I got out here, it looked to me like Lucy was taking care of them and Fiona couldn't know what to do. She was uh, very, very surprised at everything, I think, um, which is fine for a first freshener. I've had it happen before. Sometimes they take right to them and sometimes they need some convincing. And so we uh, ended up putting um, Fiona and her babies in a separate area so that she could decide that this was what she wanted to do. She still liked them. She licked them. She nudged them. But she wouldn't let them nurse. She was terrified. And um, it's to be expected because I think Astrid had the same thing. But Astrid was still a little bit more nurturing and motherly than Fiona was. And so I was a little worried. But we penned them up together. And then I actually put Fiona on the stanchion a few times and just kind of force fed the kids. Well, not force fed, but let the kids nurse freely without her moving or button or anything. Well, with a little bit of ingenuity. She'll feed him if you hold her. But she's kind of afraid of them. Astrid was like this a little bit. but she would at least lick it off. I think Fiona's mother licked her kids off. I had gotten out here a little too late and was pretty much just playing catch up, but she's got this boy and this girl. As long as she can keep them fed, they're pretty good size. Um, and that actually worked really well. We probably went like maybe a day with that and then the second day we started doing the whole, whole, we put a collar on her and we would hold the collar, give her some treats, let her sniff the babies as they were nursing and then kind of go from there let her get accustomed to it. And she did really good. But because we had to take her little girl away so quickly because what we think happened now is we think um, her umbilical cord got stepped on by mom and it started bleeding profusely. I didn't know what was going on. So I rushed her to the vet to just get this bleeding to stop. And uh, luckily, um, we don't really have like goat goat vets, but you know, any vet can probably stop an umbilical cord from bleeding. My worry was that it was gonna be something to do with the intestines or something bad like that. And I didn't know, I didn't want to chance it. So he, uh, got it to stop bleeding he I guess he like it was like just filling with blood and that's why it looked so crazy and uh, he got it to stop bleeding got it a little bit smaller in size cleaned it with some iodine wrapped her up sent us home so I had to share we had an umbilical emergency so the doctor thinks or the vet thinks that maybe mom stepped on her umbilical cord because it started like engorging in blood and bleeding so he went and took care of it for us and hopefully it'll be all dried up tomorrow that it wasn't anything to do with intestines huh little sweetie But he did say that he gave her some antibiotics, which in hindsight, I wish I would have just asked that to not be a thing because um, 
Fiona when receiving her child back. Um, that was in the first, like, first few hours, so she was fine. She didn't know any different because we were stanchion feeding them. But when she started becoming okay with the kids, I think the smell of the antibiotics on the girl threw her off, and she did not want to let the girl nurse any longer. So day two, we were uh, still stanchioning her so she would feed um, her daughter, but she would freely feed the boy. All right, caught it in action. The boy is the only one brave enough, but he's a little violent. He needs to be gentle. But here's the girl. <sighs> Come on, go do it. She's a little timid because she knows that mom might head better. Oh, you did it! You did it, Fiona. You did it. <sighs> Took you a little longer than Astrid. I only had to do this to Astrid for like. A day, half a day maybe, and she picked it up. But uh, Fiona, it's this is the second day, and she's finally not afraid to let the kids nurse. However, little sister, I mean, I came out here and held the collar for a second, but this is right after I held the collar the second time and just let her sniff the kids. So it was kind of like the daughter kind of was this bottle baby personality because we'd come out and she was like, oh, these people mean food. And so she'd come out and come right to us and we'd put her mom on the stanchion and feed her mom and then feed the baby. She doesn't like her little girl. I think she sneaks feeds. Well, uh, that was kind of... Uh, that was rough, to say the least. Because um, I have a full-time job. <laughs> and... Uh, the feedings when they were like four hours apart were really difficult. Five hours apart were better. But um, we just we just couldn't continue this. So um, what we decided to do was see if another doe would take her. This was the next one to kid. So the next goat to kid was Lucy. So we had to decide, it's uh, lunchtime, the dinner bell's ringing. So the next go to kid was going to be Lucy. Uh, so we had to decide um, how we're going to go about doing this to get Lucy to feed Fiona's daughter. So Lucy had her, do her kids, she had a boy and a girl. She actually had one stillborn as well. And since I was at work, I don't really know what happened. Um, they were all good sized. Uh, two eight pounders, actually maybe eight and a half, an eight pounder, and a 7.8. Um, so, all very good sized kids, but one of them just didn't make it. And I don't know why, because I wasn't here. Maybe one day I can farm full time and not have to, you know, report to work. But for the time being, still gotta go to work. <laughs> the work pays for the farm. <laughs> Anyways, so um, we snuck Opal over. We started calling this goat Opal, by the way, um, Fiona's daughter, just to kind of differentiate everything. Um, we snuck her over and rubbed her in Lucy's placenta. And the first day, Lucy was great. She let her feed, no problem. The next day, I was worried because Opal had that bottle baby mentality, so I had to start uh, limiting her a amount of feed because she was just going to suckle as long as Lucy stood there and since Lucy's kids were a lot younger she was standing for a long time so I had to monitor that situation by day two we were doing a little bit better still was kind of watching her and then by day three so Opal Fiona's daughter and Fiona and her son were all in this pen by themselves 
and I would beat Opal off of Lucy and then I would put her back. So day three. So we did this um, with Lucy for the first day that her kids were around and the second full day. And the morning of day three, excuse me, do you, do you need something? My cat has decided he needs attention. Anyway, so day three, I get Fiona and both of her kids and let them back into the big pen because I know she'll feed her son. So that's not a problem at all. Um, and then great things were happening. Lucy would allow Fiona's little girl, Opal, to nurse, but only let her nurse when her kids were nursing. She couldn't just nurse all the time, which is good because I was super afraid that she's going to overfeed herself. That's good to see. As long as she latches, Lucy's okay with this. Well, the saga of Opal, or if that's what we decide to name her. So now, these all these kids behind me, we have a big happy family. And uh, now Lucy, who is the grandmother to Opal, Fiona's daughter, is feeding and taking care of Opal. So it's been great. Um, I've also seen a few other baby goats nurse off of the wrong mom. I think as long as they can sneak a feed anywhere, they do. And I think that's just fine. But. So that is the saga of Fiona and her kids. Um, I had it happen a little bit with Astrid. Her first kidding, she loved her baby, licked it, nurtured it, but was afraid to let it nurse. And I think it's just because they do have some really big udders, um, Lucy's line in particular. And um, so I think she just, just had a really engorged udder and it was tender and she didn't want to let anyone touch it. But then once she realized, I think both of them, Fiona and Astrid, their first season, once they realized that the kid relieves the pressure, they were more on board with it. So everyone's happy. Everyone's being fed. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. I didn't want to have to sell a kid early because uh, bottle raising just doesn't work with my work schedule. But we are all good now. And all of my kids and all of my mamas, they're all one big happy family for the most part. I mean, you still have to watch them, be careful. Uh, they definitely tolerate their kids a little bit, but as the other kids grow and understand who's who, they stay out of everybody's way. So it's all good. See, look up here, prime example. Lucy is nursing her two kids plus her adopted kid, and there's one more in the mix there, because those are four kids. So I guess if if she's going to nurse more than her, her two and her one adopted, it's fine. Who did she just nurse? Oh, she's got Astrid's boy. That one, that little one, that's Astrid's boy. Uh, well... You get it where you can, I guess. And now he's going to go see if his mom will feed him too. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for this one. But thanks for coming with us, listening to Fiona's story, um, seeing a little bit of the update. This is the Fiona story is coming out a few weeks later. Um, just because getting through kidding season and all that stuff. So it's a few weeks late. So her kids are probably a week and a half now. Um, I just had my last kid yesterday. So we'll be slowly getting those videos edited and put together. Now that I'm not on goat watch 24 seven. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.
and like this video.